Oh, welcome Capricorn. This is going to be your no contact reading or someone you're in separation with. Um, a quick announcement. I am, if you are person or you are, do want a personal reading, you can now book with me in October. Um, the, the link will be in the description box below. Now, if you do book appointment, please leave a brief description of your, of your situation. I feel a lot of people are missing that. Um, if you do end up making an appointment. Okay. All right. Let's get your message here. We have temperance. Peace is coming in, you guys. Peace, balance. <gasps> An opportunity is arriving here with the Spirit of Rings. This is awesome. I love that you have the Nine of Pentacles here. The Nine of Pentacles is basically saying that you're self-made energy. You're already whole within yourself. You, there's finding peace again, feeling good, feeling grounded. Love this. This is like on your way to something new. All right, we do have the Hermit. So there's a lot of manifesting here, new things in your life. Like you have all this power to manifest anything you want, Capricorn. But we have this Hermit. I feel there may be a lot of isolating yourself here or feeling a bit of loneliness. But I do see that things are changing for you as you are having a, a healthy mindset and more of a healthy balance for your life, okay? Um, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful energy. All right, we have the Four of Cups and the Five of Wands and the Star. A lot of healing here. I feel here like something is just in your energy. I feel like you had to choose yourself. Something was too challenging. Maybe not seeing eye to eye or there's a lot of challenges in the environment. Because even in this person, they kind of keep coming up a little um, like very challenging person. The Star is coming in, which is about healing. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here, somebody here may be very sad or disappointed trying to recover while you're in separation here. I feel that they're very, whoever this is, is very distant. And it looks like they are pretty sad, but I do see the sun coming in in the near future and the chariot. So something here felt very back off, like, out, like off track here and now you're getting back on track so it's beautiful regardless how long this person may be in your sit in your energy it just feels like somebody here is just very sad they're feeling really regretful and there's there's a separation what's this four cups it looks like you may have had a tower moment where you had to take a leap of faith and take action somewhere else. Look at, looks like you had to, uh, like it felt like you had a tower moment, like something was very unexpected here, <clears throat> feeling very defeated. So where you had to take action and take that leap of faith, okay? Because it is showing a lot of good news coming in your way on this new journey. This person has the king of coins in the reverse and the knight of swords. Someone here is wearing a false mask, appearing to be successful and be this person that they're not. Feels like they're very, um, there's a lot of obstacles coming in, especially with the Knight of Swords. This energy, with the Knight of Swords energy, this person, I don't know. The Knight of Swords is pretty aggressive and very impulsive and arrogant, right? But they're also very, like, there's some type of focus. There's like a focus about something here. They're trying to rush something to happen here. I don't know if they're running back from the past, running from the past, but it looks like they're trying to be more successful or appear more stable than they really are. The challenge is things felt like it was going backwards with this energy. There's a lot of fights and ch obstacles I feel that you're healing from, but we have the chariot. So again, this is you knowing what direction to take. It looks like something here where you had to make a very <clears throat> decisive choice and move on for yourself. 
someone here is very very sad oh my goodness um these are about messages though what's the four swords looks like somebody wants to come in with a message but i don't know they came up they're coming in a bit just i don't know who this is it's like somebody has you on their mind maybe you're not putting in the effort anymore because i'm over here seeing you overcoming things and moving forward i'm seeing this person thinking about you taurus virgo capricorn feeling defensive and wanting to take action but then i'm seeing during the separation there is some type of message that wants to come through okay nine of wands with the sun and the strength now if there is any open communication, this may cause a little bit of self-doubt. Um, the Nine of Wands is saying that don't give up, keep going, even though you feel very weak. Okay. Don't let things hold you back. Find that inner strength. Believe in yourself and get back up. That's what the, the sun is here. This is only temporary feeling. The sun is here to tell you, hey, this is temporary. This is the sun is going to come out. The Four of Wands is absolutely beautiful with the Six of Swords. It looks like you are moving forward to like a new home, a new place, a new environment. You're going straight to the Chariot, which is all about, um, what is it called? Your home, your stability, your family, your finances. Like things are looking really up. With that Chariot energy, this is you moving forward. Determine, determine to overcome these obstacles, right? You're overcoming big challenges in your life right now and you're taking control of your life and it's going to take a lot of inner strength to do that while you're navigating through all of this to get back on track all right so i feel like now you know what direction to take even though someone here is in your energy if they take action or message i feel you're still going to persevere it feels like you're still going to do what you need to do yeah this is very interesting. It's the strength is your main card here and the five of wands. So the inner, so what I'm getting with those two cards mainly is that, look at you went through a tower moment, it made you defeated. There's, there's something that unexpected that you're just like, I have to put my hands up on this. I gotta keep going. And this is you taking a leap of faith, okay? The king of wands is determined they're confident, they're very magnetic, they're charming, they're inspiring, and they're courageous and self-assured. So I feel you are super, super determined. And this is an energy that is going to inspire others. Very beautiful. Your whole, your whole energy is beautiful. Um, let's see. I just feel that sometimes those messages come in. looks like their intention and action is to offer something but i feel like you're just not giving up hope you're just going to continue to persevere i depend on you too much to let you go i have codependency issues i was afraid that you would reject me if i shared my feelings to you so somebody may have codependent issues where they depended on a lot from you um, as you probably saw but let's keep going Something's going to take a lot of strength in the near future. But I love this for you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I couldn't let you get too close to me. I wish I could take back my words. I replay our conversations over and over. And then we have the silent heart. You make me nervous. I want a new beginning with you. Um, I wouldn't be like, remember to take what resonates, okay? Because I feel whatever is going on here, this person is very up in the air. I mean, we have the King of Pentacles who is very obsessed with their status, with greed, with wealth. But they're very they're also very very selfish this person may also become very wasteful and waste be in when they're wasteful with their own life they'll be definitely be wasteful with yours 
So there's something here where there is wanting some type of communication, but I feel like it's taking you to really persevere because you have been wounded like the wounded warrior at the nine of wands to where you had to pick yourself up and get yourself here. And it looks like you're already taking this leap of faith into a new beginning as you are starting a whole life here with the four of wands. You're manifesting very beautiful things in your life. So I do see like there's new beginnings on the horizon uh, for sure. Okay, so let's get your advice here. Break free, beautiful, and presence. You're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary if you're going to share your true self with others. Be brave, be real, be you, and trust that those who love you will always be there for you. I love it. So you may be breaking free. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment to stop ruminating about the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now, and when you're not present for it, you miss all the beauty. Okay, you guys. So Capricorn, I'm going to leave this here. I do hope this message does help and bring some clarity to you. And if it does in any way, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.